Hi, Max. This is Coach Smart from ABC Baseball Camps. How are you, buddy? I'm going to do your hitting evaluation. Okay? So let's get started. Uh, we're going to talk about your setup a little bit here. I really like this. That's good. Nice uh, nice parallel f stance to start off with. It's easily repeatable, which is good. One of the most important factors in a stance is how often you can repeat it. If we move up your body, you know, you're wide enough to have a good balanced, uh, balanced attack in this right zone in the batter's box, and your hands are high enough to, for you to be able to create a descending blow to the baseball. So, good stuff. Uh, let's see what your approach is here to your swoops. Go back. Sorry about that. Wrong button. Here we go. So, real short stride, which is okay, but. Man, Max, the first thing that just jumps off the page at me right away is what you do with your front foot. Okay? You go from a nice parallel stance to a paralyzing stance. <laughs> Having that foot wide open. Okay? That's going to have a trickle-up effect on your body, Max. A trickle-up effect. Okay? It's going to move up your body and it's going to create some icky stuff, okay, for lack of a better term. It's going to open up your front hip early. And that's going to open up your front shoulder early. Two things we don't want to happen, okay, as we swing. Okay, let's get rid of that one and go to see it happens again. Okay. Okay, again, foot comes down and now the angle of that foot is like this. So, no matter how hard you push with your back knee, which you do a great job of, it's just being wasted, Max. You're just blowing that swing out the front end of it. All that power is just getting flushed out the toilet, the front end of your swing. you got to keep that front foot closed. There's an absolute in hitting. You have to hit against a closed, firm front side. And you're hitting against a open firm front side and that's no good okay gotta get that foot closed okay let's go back a little bit and check your swing plane out wow so not too bad that's pretty good I wouldn't I wouldn't want to mess with that too much um, obviously you're way out in front here a little bit uh, based on where your arms are at and stuff at this point in your swing. Okay, so so Max, uh, uh, be on, honest with yourself here. Okay, you're at contact right now. Okay, and you are on the very tip of your toe. Okay, answer to me this question. Couldn't you push harder with that leg if your foot was like right there? rather than right there right there versus right there I think so I know so okay so we gotta get you make sure you stay on the on the ball of your foot and don't get on the uh, on the toe of it so much okay remember power comes from creating resistance Resistance from your backside to your front side. That's how we create power. So if if the more we can push against a firm, closed front side, the more power we're going to create. Okay. So let's go to the contact point, which is right there. Again, out in front, but you know, pretty good here with your. Uh, with your arm. Okay, we'd like to have a little more bend in that elbow at contact so we can deliver a base a blow to that baseball. Your left arm seems to have a little bit of a a bow to it. We'd like to see that a little straighter. And that may have to do with your grip. Okay, if you're not using uh, the the grip that the coaches talk about all the time, little knuckle to little knuckle then you might be uh, 
you might be getting a little bit of a bowed front arm because of that. Okay. Okay, so let's see what happens at contact and then after contact. Okay, good. Nice, nice long, high finish to one hand. I, I got no issues there. So, when we do like this, we do an evaluation like this, Max, we're, you know, we're looking for one, one or two major things, okay? I'm pretty sure you know where I stand on your front foot, right? So, that's probably the biggest thing I see uh, from a setup standpoint. When you, let's go ahead and move this forward a little bit. When you stride, okay, why don't you start off, try this way. Maybe we can fix that a little bit. Take your front foot and pigeon toe it. Point it in a little bit. So then when it opens, it maybe won't slide as much. And remember, Max, when you land, okay, when you take your stride, you want to stride to the inside part of that cleat, okay, to this part of your shoe, right in here. Okay, that's where you got to dig if you were outside the dirt. That's where you want to dig that cleat in when you take your stride. And that will help you from a standpoint of maybe not releasing that front foot so much. Because there's some really good things you do. Kind of a bad pitch there. You stand playing pretty good. You get through the baseball pretty good, and your finish is uh, is uh, all right. So um, I'm going to check one more swing and check where you are at contact one more time. Now I want you to focus on your belt buckle, Max. Okay, it's square. It looks good there. It's square. It's square. It's starting to turn. And Right there is where we want you at contact from a chest and belt buckle perspective. Okay. And obviously you're going to rotate over that and, and get your belly button pointing towards the pitcher. But we want you to be square to home plate as long as you can. Okay. Okay. So uh, the two drills I'm going to send you, dead legs and split, are going to be links on your eval email. Okay, and you can um, go to those links, watch those, watch those drills, do those drills, and that should take care of some of your issues with your, uh, with your uh, rotating so much contact. Okay, man. Hey, have a great spring. Have a great summer. It was great meeting you in camp and your dad, and I look forward to seeing you at the next ABC baseball camp.